We all have that friend who wakes up early to go get everyone McDonald's breakfast while the rest of us sleep in. This is your sign to thank them. And if you're that friend, this is us saying thank you. Just a friendly reminder that right now, get any size iced coffee before 11 a.m. for just 99 cents. And a satisfying sausage McMuffin with egg is just two seventy nine. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. With Lucky Land slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to... Has anyone seen the bride and groom? Sorry, sorry, we're here. We were getting lucky in the limo and we lost track of time. <gasps> no, Lucky Land Casino. With cash prizes that add up quicker than a guest registry. In that case, I pronounce you lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Daily bonuses are waiting. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Adventure on the far off Burma Road in China. That's where we join Terry Lee, young American, and his friends. They have just finished an exciting transcribed adventure at the headquarters of Captain Blaze, the red whiskered old smuggler. They have seen action against the notorious Dragon Lady and her men. And now they're due for new thrills. So you'll hear about them in just a moment. Terry and the Pirates is brought to you by the makers of Libby's Pineapple Juice, one of Libby's hundred famous foods. Wouldn't you boys and girls get a kick out of sending secret messages in a code only your special pals could read? Wouldn't it be a thrill to flash messages at night in the famous Morse code? And say, did you ever try drawing crazy pictures? Well, all those things are just extra features you get when you send for your Terryscope. The Terryscope itself is just about the swellest thing you ever saw. You can look around corners with it. It's a periscope, you know. And you can see over fences. A mighty handy thing to have along when you go to a ball game or a parade. And gosh, can you have fun playing G-Man and submarines. Now, this Terryscope not only has eight exciting special features, but it's just like Terry's. The one you've been hearing about in the show. Libby has had this thrilling Terry scope made for you. And right now you can actually get it for only ten cents and two Libby's labels. Why think of it, kids? A real Terry scope with eight extra special features. All that for just ten cents and two Libby's labels. The labels you'll need come from Libby's tomato juice and Libby's pineapple juice. Just one label from each and ten cents. And the Terry Scope is yours. So get your labels right after the show, kids. And just do this. Just print your full name and address on the back of one label. Then put the labels in an envelope with ten cents. And mail to Terry in care of Libby's, Chicago, Illinois. The word Libby's is spelled L-I-B-B-Y-S. That's the way to get your Terry Scope with its tricky picture of Big Stoop and its eight exciting features. So send right away to Terry, care of Libby's, Chicago. Enclose a label from Libby's tomato juice, one from Libby's pineapple juice, and ten cents. And be sure to give your full name and address. And now, Terry and the Pirate. <laughs> Terry Lee, Pat Ryan, Burma, April King, Captain Blaze, and his daughter, Cheery are on their way back to the Chinese town of Lashio, a place not far from the river and near the Burma Road. The Chinese boy, Connie, is also in the party, but General Chang and his soldiers have gone on ahead, leaving our friends to make the journey on foot. And so, with thrill-packed adventures behind them, let's catch up with Terry, who is trudging along beside the handsome Pat Ryan. I wonder if we're walking too fast for the others, Pat. They seem to be coming along all right, but... I guess we're all pretty tired. If anybody wants to stop, they still have lungs. Yeah, they can holler. But I suppose they're all anxious to get as many miles behind them as possible. After all, there's no sense in hanging around Captain Blaze's place. And after it was blown up. Say, that was a real explosion from what I heard. Oh, that's so. You and Berman Connie run your way back with Bing Sing and the other prisoners. Yeah, but we heard it. Sorry. <laughs> You know, the thing I can't get over is how Dude Hennig saved the life of Captain Blaze. Yeah. Yep, General Chang was all set to stand him up in front of the firing squad and, well... Uh, good old dude. Drops him with his plane, does some fast talking to General Chang, turns Blaze free and in charge of his daughter and flies away again. 
We hardly had time to say hello and goodbye. Well, maybe we'll see dude in town. Well, the shield can't be much farther, can it? According to my feet, we've walked a thousand miles. I'd say we have another two miles to go anyway. Uh, my feet are not used to this hiking. Tell you what, I'll drop back and see how the others are getting along. Okay. And tell Burma to join me at the head of the column. I want to talk to her. No sooner said than half done. Hey, listen, Hanson. If you want me to walk with you, you'll have to shorten those strides. I'm no giraffe. Oh, beautiful. I have a little chin music with you. All right. Well, what's on that thing you call your mind? Nothing. I was thinking about you. Ah. Well, now that you're finished with the wisecrack, try and look intelligent. Now, listen. We'll be in the Shio in another half hour. We've got to make some plans. <laughs> Not me, Tad. My plans are all made. Yeah, that goes for April, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. I almost forgot. The orphanage, eh? That's right. The orphanage. There's work to be done there. Well, are you sure April wants to stay at the orphanage? <laughs> I'll bet even she can't answer that. Why? What's on your mind? Nothing. Only, well, we've finished up this Captain Blaze thing, and that leaves Terry and me and Connie on the loose. I thought you lads were working for the Chinese Army. Well, General Chang, aside from a few fine words of praise, didn't give us any new orders, so I don't know where we stand. Well, there's always things to do at the orphanage. Mrs. Finch can use a few able-bodied men. Finch? Oh, yeah, yeah, the woman runs the place. Yeah. Oh, well, I don't fancy being the handyman in the kindergarten. I doubt if Terry would like it either. Well, if you're going to hang around the place, you'll have to work for your food. I know Mrs. Finch. She's as hot as a 1940 prune. It's work or no eat. Okay, so we work and eat, but it's only temporary. Oh, now look, Curly Lark. Haven't you had enough excitement for a while? Well, the dragon lady got away. All right, so the dragon lady put one over on you. Can't you forget her? Or does it hurt your pride to have a woman make a monkey out of you? Now, look, beautiful. Women have been making monkeys out of men ever since the world began. No, I, I just feel there's unfinished business to attend to. Well, suit yourself. And I'll bet you all the teacups in China that the folks walking behind us don't crave action. <laughs> they don't look any too spry, do they? <laughs> just check them over. April's a dead pigeon. She's all in. I'm so Terry. And Connie's stumbling along way back there. Yeah. Hi, right, Connie. Shake a leg. You're left behind. Terry. Yeah, Pat. I'll give him a hand. He's all in. <laughs> Captain Blaze isn't any too happy. The old red fox. And that's because he's been paroled to his daughter, Cherry. <laughs> he has to do as she says, and he don't like it. See, the worm looks like they're going to bust out laughing. <laughs> now, you could do it about 48 hours sleep, my foolish friend. But when a gal starts freaking, talking smart, I figure she's worried about something. So let's have it, Burma. What's eating her? Well, to be honest, Pat, I, I'm worried about the orphanage. Well, isn't Mrs. Finch there? Oh, I suppose so, but the invader's been active in these parts since you've been away, and all those children are in constant danger. You mean from air raids and bombings? Well, and... you can't tell from day to day. That... Hey, look across there, that... That smoke, isn't it? Why, yeah. Hey, look, Pat. Hey, that's where the town should be. The smoke, all right. I don't see any planes. I haven't heard any guns. I wonder what it could be. Well, where there's smoke, there's sure to be fire and... Okay, okay, back there. Let's step along. There's trouble in the town. Maybe we can lend a hand. I... I can't run any more. I'm all out of breath. We can see the fire now. Oh. It's that building back behind us. It's Terry. It's the orphanage. That's right. Hey, look, Burma, you and the others come along as fast as you can. Yeah. Terry and I run on ahead. Come on, fella, let's hit the wind. Yeah, man. Hey, hey, you there. Understand? Oh, oh, he is so get us anywhere. Hey, Terry. Ask that fellow everybody got out. The place is a furnace now. I've been talking to this old fellow, Pat, and as near as I can make out, there's nobody in the building. All the children are out? I'll ask him again. Lee who? Leon. Babies go topside? And he's nodding. I suppose that means that they're being taken care of someplace else. Yeah, but how did they start? It wasn't a problem about that. No sign of an explosion. Are they, are they okay? Pat, tell me. Now, now, take it easy. As far as we can tell, all the kiddies were well, safe. What about Mrs. Finch? Is she with us? Yes. Well, Terry, where are you going? This way, Burma. This way. I think I know where the children are. Come on, let's follow Terry. Be careful, there. Yeah. That side yeah. wall is caving in. I was here 
as I could make out from that old native, he said the lone babies, I suppose that means the orphans, he said the lone babies were topside by the river house. That would be this place down here by the dock. I hope he was right. I, I hate to see anything happen to those youngsters. They've had enough trouble as it is. Now, take it easy, beautiful. We'll know soon enough. There's was borrowing trouble. I've never been down here before. I didn't know the town was so close to the river. Now, let's go in. Oh, no, go. let me go in. The children know me, and I know just how many there were. And if they're in this house, I'll count them. You and Terry wait here. Let me find out if they're sick. Colin. Look at Burma and hear her talk at other times. You wouldn't think she was such a softy about children, would you? When you get to be as old as I am, Terry, you'll learn one important thing about women. Yeah, what's that? The older you get, the less you know. I gave up trying years ago. Look at the dragon lady. Look at Cheery Blaze or April. All different as night from day, as unpredictable as the weather. Uh-huh. I suppose so. But, Pat, what about that fire? Golly, you can even see the flames and smoke down here by the water. And it wasn't a bomb or an air raid, Terry. It was just a regular fire. You mean the invaders didn't do it? I don't know about that. But it didn't happen because of an explosion. Then, well, how could it happen? It... I don't know. They're all right. Huh? They're all, all right. Well. The children inside? Yeah, all of them. I counted them. They're all safe. Only I, I can't find out from even the oldest child where Mrs. Finch is. Say, you don't suppose she... She couldn't get out of the other building. Oh, no, I, I think she went someplace. I, I asked a couple of the children how they got here, and, and they said Mrs. Finch brought them. Oh, so. then she's safe. Well, that's good. She's an old battle axe, but she got a heart of gold, so I'm glad she didn't get hurt. Well, beautiful, looks like you walked from the frying pan into the fire, or vice versa. Well, I walked into a fire, all right. Hey, what do you mean? With the orphanage, a pile of ashes, and a dozen youngsters on your hands, it's... Looks like you and April have a job cut out for yourselves, eh? Oh, yeah. yeah. And once more, oh, yeah. Well, Mr. Ryan and Mr. Terry Lee, you boys are going to go to work right now for me. How do you like that? What? That's what I said. You're going to pitch in and get this shack ready for the kiddies and so are the rest of the folks. Now, until Mrs. Finch comes back, I'm in charge. And nobody eats who won't work. Hmm. Uh. She may be an old battle axe, but I can be tougher than she ever thought of being. Now, you round up your pals and be quick. Bring them down here and I'll tell them what to do. I'm putting these orphans back on their feet, or whatever you call it. Golly, I... I never saw Burma like that before. You see what I mean, Terry? Now, there's only one thing to know about a woman. And that is, you don't know anything. <laughs> eh, come on. I know who the boss is, and it isn't you or me. Well, Burma did the right thing when she took charge. And she'll keep Terry and Pat and the others stepping all right. But there's danger just around the corner, and I'll tell you what I mean in just a moment. Now, don't forget, boys and girls, that you can get a Terry soap just like the one Terry made. You can see around corners with it, the way Terry does. And find out what's going on behind you without turning your head. Many's the time you'll have the other kids plenty puzzled if you have a Terry scope. So take a label from a can of Libby's tomato juice and another from Libby's pineapple juice. On the back of one, print your full name and address, then mail the labels with 10 cents to Terry, care of Libby's, Chicago, Illinois. Now, that's the way to get your carry scope, and boy, will you be thrilled when it comes. Now, there's all kinds of fun for you in the carry scope. Why, it's got secret codes you can use with your special pals, and new games, and a swell trick you can do with a picture of big soup. So send in your Libby's tomato juice and Libby's pineapple juice labels with just ten cents right away. Give your name and address... And mail to Terry, care of Libby's, Chicago, Illinois. I'll repeat that address. That's Terry, in care of Libby's, L-I-B-B-Y-S, Libby's, Chicago, Illinois. Libby will shoot your Terry scope right back. Now, in tomorrow's transcribed adventure, we'll find out more about how the fire started and who started it. And we'll meet that sharp-tongued Mrs. Stint, who has such a big heart. It's going to wind up in a surprise thrill. So join us for another exciting Terry tale along the Burma Road and the Yellow River. 
We all have that friend who wakes up early to go get everyone McDonald's breakfast, but the rest of us sleep in. This is your sign to thank them. And if you're that friend, this is us saying thank you. Just a friendly reminder that right now, get any size iced coffee before 11 a.m. for just 99 cents. And a satisfying sausage McMuffin with egg is just two seventy nine. dollars Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Lucky Land Casino. Asking people, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car before my kid's PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere, playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details.